Trump just slapped Muslims in America with massive $393,800 bill for surprisingly awesome reason. The long era of entitlement for Muslims in America ended with the change of post that Barack Obama was forced to give up to President Donald Trump who is actually capable and focused on making the country great again. With that, he brought a lot of immediate changes to the union, obliterating all that Obama left behind in his path of destruction. However, he just stuck it to his predecessor's prized people with a whopping $393,800 bill for an absolutely incredible reason that's sure to cause a riot. The biggest sap to government funds over the past eight years are those who don't deserve hard-working Americans' cash, especially if they seek to destroy us and our way of life. This was the case with Muslims coming to our country and intentionally taking advantage of our generosity, which went far beyond just welfare. President Trump saw something else that Obama left behind and rather than honoring his predecessor's plans, he responded with massive financial slap in the face to send a very clear message. Before Barack Obama left office, he handed out cash to Muslims like it was candy on Halloween. This was no secret and he wasn't even trying to hide it, thinking that there was nothing anyone could do about it. While some terrorist tied groups got their greedy hands on your money, to the tune of millions, others were waiting for their piece of the American pie when Trump noticed something sinister in the pipeline. The only cash that should be going to Muslims should be to efforts and procedures to rid our country of this cancer. The Department of Homeland Security announced that $10 million in tax funds had been issued to fight radicalization and recruitment of Americans by terrorist groups, basically community-based efforts to stop jihad recruitment of vulnerable U.S. citizens who are easily swayed by hateful rhetoric. However, there was more beneath the surface. Creeping Sharia reports of the original plan The awards are part of the Department's Countering Violent Extremism CV, grant program which gives money to city and state governments, as well as private organizations, to develop programs that combat terrorism and extremist ideology. Many of the grant recipients are local police departments, but the award winners also include community groups that can intervene with susceptible young people before they become radicalized through the Internet propaganda of international terrorist groups such as ISIS and Al-Qaeda. We are witnessing a global surge in terrorist activity and in many ways our own backyard has become the battleground," said Secretary of Homeland Security John Kelly in a Friday news release. That is why DHS is focused on stepping up efforts to counter terrorist recruitment and radicalization, including through close collaboration with state and local partners. However, among the recipients, Obama had snuck in a group to receive the grants who definitely didn't deserve it and now aren't getting the $393,800 they were hoping for. Although one mosque is still on the receiving end of $531,000 in taxpayer dollars, the Muslim Public Affairs Council MPAC, was just denied the paycheck that Trump's predecessor had promised them. John Rossimendo for Investigative Project Reports the Department of Homeland Security has ruled that the Muslim Public Affairs Council MPAC, will not receive the $393,800 Countering Violent Extremism CV, grant approved by Secretary of Homeland Security Jeff Johnson on January 13, days before Johnson left office. The DHS released its list of grant recipients on Friday. MPAC is not on it. The change came after DHS utilized its discretion to consider other factors and information when reviewing applicants, a spokeswoman said in an email to the investigative project on terrorism. The department considered whether applicants for CV awards would partner with law enforcement, had a strong basis of prior experience in countering violent extremism, had a history of prior efforts to implement prevention programs targeting violent extremism and were viable to continue after the end of the award period. These additional priorities were applied to the existing pool of applicants. Top scoring applications that were consistent with these priorities remained as awardees, while others did not. It appears that the intentions of this group weren't for fighting extremism and perhaps were promoting it, as one can assume is the case with most, although there is no very clear way of gauging that for certain. That said, 
The DHS under President Trump definitely did their job and defeated even Barack Obama who had hoped to fund such an operation with your money. The investigative project adds this startling fact. MPAC may have won the grant simply because it is the most organized group, said Heritage Foundation counterterrorism scholar Robin Simcox. But that is going down the wrong path. Often this means giving it to some very, very divisive voices who will play into the Islamist narrative, they will play off grievances. They will encourage a feeling of segregation and otherness, and we are promoting other problems for the future. The evidently terrorist high group thought they were in the clear with getting on the list of recipients in the first place, but underestimated Trump and his intent on ridding the country of radicalism. radicalism.